Hello everyone, this is Oli the Rebellu again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually get the ic-info.sisv file. Shout out to Brian Jensen for his method to access SSH on lock devices using Windows. Please check out his video and his channel. The video link in the description below. This solution is meant for those who did not erase the device and did not get the ic-info.sisv file when extracting addition files via Silver 5. If you have already erased your device and realized Apple services are not working, unfortunately, you have to regenerate via pick tools at the time of this video being made. This tutorial assumes that you already already broken and was able to extract all the files except ic-info.sisp and have not yet erased your device. I demonstrated with a device which is the iPhone 6 I previously passcode by pass with working passcode and Apple services and passcode lock. See? Passcode lock. I already job broken and already had my backup files. First, install Python 2.7. If you have not done so, I won't be going through that step as I already done install. Then, once done installing Python 2.7, download the three files. The link in the description in the form of a zip file and put the files in C Python 27. I already done so. It will be the TCP relay.py, USB mouse.py, and USB mouse.pyc. These three files I will be providing it for download in the form of a zip file. The link for the download is in the description below. Once you've done so, open command prompt. Sorry, my camera. Copy and paste the command I'll be giving in the description. I already had mine in the notepad file. This is the command. I'll be giving you the command in the description. I mean the description. Then press enter and wait. Once you're done, open Win SCP. Go to new site. Port number is four tools, file protocol, SCP, local host, the host name, username will be root, password. A L P I N E. The password is Alpine. Press login and wait. If you key correctly, you should get this. Press update. Then go to the root of the directory. Go to private. Go to var. Mobile. Library. Fair Play, iTunes Control, iTunes. If you were able to see this ic info.sic file, congratulations. Now you can copy it to your backup folder. Go to your silver file directory, ref, backup, your device UDID, number 4, iTunes, iTunes Control, and stay here. For the demonstration, I already deleted the IC dash info the SISV file in this folder. Then copy this file into this directory and wait. Once you manage to copy it, you can now erase your device. I'll be using Fearing Erase Tool for that. Wait, this will take some time for you to load. Extra, restore device. If your device is IS 12, press yes. Otherwise, press no. 
press yes and wait this will take some time As the erase takes some time, I'll be stopping the video recording. I will be back once the erase is complete. Eventually, finally, the device is already erased. I'll be booting to Ubuntu Linux. You can boot to Ring USB, Boot Ring, Ubuntu Live, etc. to run Check Ring. A few moments later, your phone reaches the Hello screen and you successfully boot up whatever platform and already open chat ring, you'll break the device. Just follow the chat ring instruction on how to enter DFU mode. Just follow the normal process. Once you're done, your chat ring will break and the phone which is the hello screen go back to Windows. A few moments later. You already loaded Windows. Go to Silver 5 directory again. Go to Silver 5. Press activate iDevice and let it do its job. Once done, turn off your iPhone. You can now close this, press OK, close Silver 5, and close your Silver 5 directory. Now turn on your phone again and wait. Set up the device. I'll be connecting the phone to the Wi Fi network off camera. Are you trying to connect the Wi-Fi? Yep. 
pass the activation screen Done. Oh, that's Siri. Hello, Siri. Hello. I don't think we need it for you. Siri working fine. Sorry for the. I'm going to insert the SIM card. I'll be inserting my main SIM card. You should say Giga once. Update if necessary. I'm not going to activate I message using my main SIM. On and off every mode and wait. Giga. Turn off Wi Fi. And use data. Yahoo.com to SG. I mean SG Yahoo.com works data. Gonna sign in my Apple ID, my iCloud. Trying to sign in, sign in the iCloud. This will take some time. Cancel. I don't want to use my main SIM card. If any reason start on signing iCloud close settings and open settings. iCloud should be signed in. Do it after it got start for some time. Go to FaceTime. It seems I need to activate FaceTime. I'll be doing it off camera. Sign in to FaceTime. I'm now trying to sign in to FaceTime. I use my Apple ID instead of my phone number. FaceTime was activated on the settings. Let me see whether I can use FaceTime. Cancel. Now FaceTime works. I'll be installing an app from the App Store, which is Instagram.
how the assigning app store Signing in with my app store <coughs> It's some glitch, but still sign in Then Instagram Download Instagram Instagram is downloading, it's gonna take some time. Especially over that 3G network. I'll turn on my back for this. Instagram, I'll be signing in using my personal account and accepting notification of camera. I already done accepting notification of camera and, uh, and signing in using my personal account. Now I'll be using my personal, my other phone to send a message to my personal account. Working works perfectly. Perfectly working fine. You can also use other methods like Messenger to test the notifications. I hope you find my tutorial videos useful. Please like and share this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for more updates, new videos, and repair stuff. Please donate to me. The PayPal link in the description below. Thank you for enjoying my video.